Welcome to the Ordinary Marathoner Podcast. Hello and welcome to the Ordinary Marathoner Podcast. My name is Scott. I'll be your host today. I've got an in-studio guest for you today. Uh, should be a good one. I hope. I hope uh, we're going to talk about a lot of a lot of things today. A lot of uh, open, a lot of honesty on today's program. I hope. Anyway, as always, you can find this in the back episodes of our podcast at our website, ordinarymarathoner.com. Check it out if you get a chance. You can also find us over at Twitter. It's called uh, Ord Marathoner. O R D Marathoner is our address there. And if you follow us there. Uh, I will follow you back, get the conversation started over there, or you can head over to Facebook and find our discussion group. It's called Ordinary Marathoners. It's a closed group, so you got to add yourself to it, but we approve you right away, and you can join the conversation over there as well. A very uh, engaging and supportive and overall positive group over there. So my guest today, getting right into it, my guest today is none other than uh, my my wife, my lovely wife, Stephanie. Uh, welcome to the show, Stephanie. Thanks for having me again. <laughs> this is what your second time on the podcast. I think third. Third. We did another mm-hmm. one. I, I feel like it's the second. Maybe no, it is it's the, the third. third. All right. Mm-hmm. It's the third. So, um, I don't know. You know, we've we had a really good 2017. I think. Oh, it's great. Best year ever. Last year, we really. I mean, we were hitting on all cylinders. We uh, we got a lot done. We got married. We you know. You you helped me get through my Iron Man thing, and and we did that. You cooked for me half the year for a bikini competition. Right, you had your uh, your bikini competition. Who's got his phone? Is that me? Yeah, it's me. My phone is on. I'm ruining the podcast already. I'm turning it off. Sorry. Um, and uh, and you know we we went into 2018, and I think we we kind of had a good vibe. We did. Um, we had all good intentions, but really, I mean, it's the first week here in February. And it's not going as well Mm-mm. as twenty eight as twenty seventeen. Twenty eighteen has been miserable. Yes, miserable. And um, so I think what we wanted to do this podcast is, uh, you know, take kind of two normal people like ourselves because we're so normal and um, ordinary. And we right ordinary people and uh, and discuss our ordinary life and um, and how we got into this sort of rut and what's going on and and then we're going to discuss also how we're going to try to get ourselves out of it. So, you know, I think I'll just, we've been hit, we talked about this before we were in the car together, but we just had a lot of things kind of go wrong. And it's kind of weird because, you know, I, I'm of the mind where I don't really like making excuses for myself. I don't, I always think like, you know, the world, everyone, everyone gets obstacles, right? Obstacles hit everybody. Certain people attack them different ways. Uh, but you know, some of them are unlucky, but it's still, you know, you got to fight through it. You got to figure it out. But I feel like we've just had a lot of sort of interesting things. Um, and why don't, why don't you touch on a few of those? Okay. Well, we started our 2018 literally with the flu. Right. We had to cancel our plans yeah, we, for New Year's Eve. I had decorations and everything for our home and our friends were ready to come in. And, you know, three days beforehand, boom, sick. Yeah. And it sort of started that way. It That's just, kind of a bad omen right from the get-go. Yeah. And if you guys remember, like when I, I did a couple podcasts around that, I, I like my voice was nasally and gross. It was just, I couldn't even, we had commercial spots we wanted to record and I couldn't do it because I could barely speak. And um, and man, it, uh, so this kind of stuff just, I think it just, it just snowballed really. It wasn't even just that. I mean, then we got. Well, I think, at least for me, for since we got the flu, it threw, threw me off, like my study schedule, my working schedule, um, you know, exercise schedule didn't exist. It was supposed to exist after 2018, but it didn't. Um, and I just, I just felt off even yeah. after recovering, yeah. you know? Yeah. And you know, like I, you know, I went through some of that too. I think I was feeling the same way. Like, you know, we, we've had issues with the podcast, with getting guests on the podcast, with yeah, the that audio. Threw, that threw the whole podcast and, and group you know, vibe. Yeah. It's like everything, you know, it's like, and it's been hard. I've been trying, you know, I don't have, I'm not a sound guy. I don't really have, um, the background knowledge and things to figure this stuff out. So we've tried different things. We bought a new laptop, reinstalling software, 
uh, doing things like that. And really, like, I think today I was going to go to Guitar Center. I didn't go. That's part of the problem is I don't do the things that I, that I do, that I want to do. But, you know, that, that kind of started the ball rolling, I think, for me. Um, I, you know, I don't think we went from, you know, we started last year and we were in this weight loss mode where you were doing your bikini contest and we were on this diet. And we stuck to it. We really, I mean, for we were just in the mode to stick to it. And we stuck to it. I mean, we stuck to it pretty rigidly. Like, we didn't waver. Yeah, but I didn't think it was as hard as this year. I, right. I literally feel like there's an obstacle. Yeah, and I was saying, you know, I, I've been training all throughout the, sort of the third quarter of last year. And I was working out hard. I was still doing mostly two-a-days. And, uh, and my diet was faltering. I was eating things like M&Ms and, you know, and drinking every, you know, a little more often than normal and things like that. And I was just gaining weight, gaining weight, gaining weight. And now, um, you know, fast forward to this week where we started the diet again. Mm -hmm. And somehow, uh, you know, I'm still, I haven't been rigid to the diet, which I felt like last year we were. We were like very, very strict to the diet. Well, we can't, I had a deadline, you yeah, know, you and did. I had to you look did. good in front of uh, thousands of people. So right. I had no choice. But I do feel like, at least for me, part of the diet problem, and it was, I, I did well last year is I go to New York every every month, you know, and I have to right. prepare myself for that. Yep. And this, this, this last week, year we sent you with food. We cooked yeah, the food we in cooked, advance. and Exactly. But, you know, last week, well, this week, yeah, it was this week. I went to New York and the first day I got there, I did well. You know, I knew what restaurant I was going to go eat um, with, with my coworkers. And, and I looked up the menu ahead of time and, you know, I, I got healthy dinner and then, but the next day, it was just like the one time someone says no to me, I can't make your avocado toast because, you know, we're not yeah. ready for you. It it was like an excuse for me to go off the rail. And I just, I had French toast for breakfast. And then I went and I had Chinese yeah. food for breakfast. And of course, the next day, I feel like crap, total crap. Like literally have to sign out of work, have a um, Chinese food hangover. And yeah. that was, you know, I, I feel like that's what's happening with me. I've, I've been getting health, you know, issues after the well, flu. We had the kidney stone too, right? Yeah, that's, after the uh, flu, I had the kidney stones, and that threw and that was me like off a week, more. yeah, a week of of you know impossible. A week of going to the hospital, like twice. twice. Right. We've actually we've already, you know, newsflash, we've already hit our deductible <laughs> <laughs> the in first January. Month. In January, so now we're gonna have to go to the doctor as much as we can for the next eleven months uh, to take advantage, but. um yeah, you know, I mean, we've we've been hit with that kind of stuff. We've been hit with, um, I don't, you know, I just feel like our schedule, everything is just off. And, and let me just say something. After, right before I I started, uh, right before I ended up in the hospital, you know, I was in this groove where I was like, oh, I have this diet I want to follow and I'm going to cook. And I even cooked and trust me, that's very rare that was in actually, this house. Yeah. And what, but what you cooked probably caused yes. your kidney stone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but... I, I was very proud of myself for cooking something delicious that I I don't cook at all. Yeah, and yeah. So I think literally it had like spinach and kale and no, kale? I didn't have kale. It chard, was, uh, bok choy and, and chard. Yeah, so it's chard. And that was stuff that that causes her kidney stones. Uh, so, so yeah. there will be no more cooking in my in my house, at least by me, because it and I literally put myself in the hospital. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you know, for, you know, for me, like uh, the workouts too, I think for both of us have been, you know, I think I was strong last, at, even at the end of last year, I, you know, I mean, I wasn't really missing workouts. I did a few, like a few long runs. I was, I have this marathon that I'm, I'm training for in three weeks. And, you know, I think the combination for me, I've had two sort of things that have just hit me that, um, have caused me to, uh, this is, you know, this is, again, this falls under excuses, but, um, my gym shut down. It didn't shut down. This is like the lunch gym I go to, which is a Marriott hotel. And my, my membership expired. And because the Marriott had left the hotel and they're right now, they're like sort of for sale and there's no one really running it. I think there's Marriott staff that's running it. They're contracted to run it, to run it, but it's not no longer a Marriott owned hotel. And now it's like, I have no, you know, I, I have nowhere to go. I have to go to this other gym that I joined that, the optics of it when I walked in and I checked it out, it looked okay. It looked like it was all right. It had some equipment and everything. But now that I've been going, like, you know, <clears throat> it kills me. They have four ellipticals. One is new. That one's broken. One is old and I, I hate using it. 
One sort of works, but everyone uses it, so it's never available when I get there. And the third one, that works too, but it makes this really loud noise. Basically, it looks like they just went to a whole bunch of garage sales and cobbled this gym together, uh, you know, either on Craigslist or whatever. And it seems like every time I go, I try out a new machine and it stinks and it doesn't work. I was even talking to my coworker yesterday and he's like, yeah, I was on this treadmill. He's like, and I set it to six miles an hour. He's like, and I was running for like a couple minutes and I'm like, man, I feel like I'm going really fast. Like, this is crazy. I, I, you know, I should be able to do this easy. I don't know what's going on. So he got off that treadmill, went to another treadmill, set it for six miles an hour. And he's, he's like, that was way slower. Hmm. <laughs> so it's like, they're not even calibrated right. It's just, so it drives me insane. It, it, I don't like going, even like the, the locker rooms are horrible and the showers are horrible. It's like, it's just not a good experience going when I, I was kind of used to having this, this good, experience and it's thrown off my routine because it makes it so easy for me at 11 o'clock when it's time to go to the gym to say ah i got something else going on i don't want to go and so i i have to solve this problem and it's going to have to come from like joining another gym somehow but this is like this is like kind of like we've been hit with all these little nitpicky excuses that we're able to that you know that we make yeah well i have to tell you um i don't so yes i i think the flu and the kidney stones and just threw me off completely, you yeah. know, and everything, you know, like now I'm behind at work and I'm the only one that drafts these papers that, you know, have to get my boss ready for each court appearance and so on and on. But I also don't feel motivated. I don't, right, right. I don't feel motivated. And, you know, I, I try to put myself out there. I, I, you know, I got myself a little a running buddy here. And like yesterday, I really didn't want to, but I texted her and I said, Hey, I want to go for a run tomorrow, even though I didn't want to right. <laughs> just to keep myself going because I want to get right, out and of that this. Should, like having a runny, but running buddy can yeah. keep you accountable for something. And I just wanted to get out of this rut. And you know what? Today, all day, I was dreading it. You know, I was like, I really don't want to go. Yeah, yeah. I really don't want to go. And, and then, then guess what? Guess what she happened? She didn't want to go either. <laughs> so you didn't go. So I didn't go. And, you know, I've been having a little bit of the same struggles with motivation. And, you know, I know we actually, we sat down and I love our smart TV now. We have this little, you know, we have a smart TV that we, so we get onto YouTube and we start playing like motivational videos and we're trying to kind of catch our groove here, you know? Um, and, and I don't know what it is for me. I, you know, I, I think I've kind of pegged it down, actually. I, I mean, I've always, when I have something that I really, really want to do, like the Ironman, like the first marathon that I did, uh, like, for some reason, if I really want to do it and I really want to conquer it, I sign up for it, and it's on my schedule, and I go for it, and I, tra- and I train for it. And now, once I check it off the box, I don't, for some reason, I, I lose the motivation to, to train for it again. Um I don't know if you've really been hit with the same thing. Well, I I have to say, I haven't been the runner I used to be. You know, the first two years I started running, I don't think it's been like a decline for yeah. me. And I can't get back there. I don't know why. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I think we're kind of we're kind of both in the same spot. And, you know, I think running, running for some, for that reason, like I always consider running to be like a good friend. Right. So like running and this is a weird analogy. So stay, stick with me. Um, and this is what I mean by it is like, for some reason, when I need running, when I need it to cope with whatever I'm dealing with in life or what I needed to achieve goals that for some reason I'm stuck on and, and my brain gets stuck on, it's there for me and it's there for to train and it's there to do and it's there. But when I'm not, uh, focused on it, it's like, it's easy to kind of like blow it off. It's just easy to, you know, like even today, I mean, I dropped my daughter off at her friend's house at like one, whatever, 1230 or so. It is now like 330. I had plenty of time to get a run in, just didn't do it. I actually, and another, another issue I have is my injury is like I, I bought a new pair of sneakers and I ran on it and I had a heel problem and it's been bothering me now for two weeks and I kind of just been sticking to the bike because I figured it wouldn't hurt as much. And even like my new gym, the bikes are horrible, by the way. They're worse than the freaking ellipticals. But um, so I've been trying to stick to the bike. And even the last two or three days, I haven't even, I've been dieting okay. And I've been, but I, and I haven't really been even doing the bike. I skipped on, I skipped on those too. And this morning I woke up and now like my entire foot is killing me. And I'm like, I'm limping around. It's like, there's no way I'm going to run. I got a marathon in, th- in two weeks, three weeks. 
And now I'm thinking, geez, I'm not even going to be able to do that. Forget it. I mean, forget about, you know, even just being able to do it. Say I'm able to do it. I haven't trained for it, nor can I run 15 miles today to do a training run. Like, how am I supposed to do this? So I don't know what I'm going to do. I probably, maybe I'll go back to like a third, you know, a 13.1, do a half, or maybe I won't do anything. Maybe I'll just skip it and try to. I have another possibility. What is that? Go to the doctor. Oh, well, I should. You know what? Honestly, I never thought of going to the doctor. And Sam and I went to the running store yesterday. And they had someone in there that was diagnosing injuries for free. And there was someone, there was, there was a list there to sign up and there was only one name on the list. Uh, Are and they I, still there? Maybe we go. Maybe well, they, they were there. in the back room. It turned out the one person was there. They've been in the back room for a while assessing the injury. And I'm like, and I had my daughter there. So I'm like, uh, do I want to sit here and wait and then see like, I guess who must've been a doctor or something and, and see what's going on with the heel. And the heel was like, it didn't feel injured yesterday. It feels in, it's like, it's like an annoying injury. It's not like, like, I don't feel like, I don't know. It's almost like stress fracture is, ish is what it is. It's like, I can go through everyday life with it and I can be fine. Um, it's not really excessively swollen or anything like that. It doesn't feel like there's a bone broken, just annoying. And I just feel like the more I do on it, the more it's going to get worse. And today when I woke up, now it feels like an injury. Now it feels like something's going on. Um, and maybe I should see a doctor, but yesterday it didn't really feel like that. I just thought when I was at the store that it, it was convenient that she was there. Maybe I should have waited, but I didn't, which is sort of typical. Maybe we'll take a drive. Well, I don't think she's there again mm-hmm. still, uh, assuming she's a she. I've come a long way that I assume the doctor is a she. Right? I don't know. <laughs> okay, that was terrible. <laughs> well, usually, I don't know. Hey, yeah. you know what I mean. Whatever. I just kind of assume it was a she. Um Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna head to break now. We're gonna so now we've kind of we've aired aired out. I wouldn't say our grievances. I, I say our excuses. We've uh, you know that's that's been it. We've just kind of been in a um, in a rut. We've just been in a rut. So we're gonna hit the hit the break and uh, head to break, and we'll be right back. Hey guys, my friend Lauren is creating an incredible resource for runners and triathletes. It's called RaceAdvisors.com. She has amassed a list of thousands of races, 5Ks, 10Ks, half marathons, marathons, ultra marathons, and triathlons, and anything in between. If you're thinking about running a race, look it up and check out the reviews. Have a favorite race of your own? Look it up. See what others have to say about it. Or better yet, leave a review of your own. RaceAdvisors.com. Read it, race it, review it. I want to tell you guys about another great small business I've come across while doing this podcast. It's called Greasy Girl Headbands. I know, I know, I have very short hair, so what could I possibly know about headbands? Well, I know that I bought one for my wife Stephanie and daughter Samantha this Christmas. Stephanie, she uses it for what it was designed for, running and working out. But 8-year-old Sam, well, she just wears hers all the time. So the question is, how can you get one? Well, that's easy. You head on over to greasygirlheadbands.com. It's spelled G-R-E-E-C-I-E girlheadbands.com and select from the many styles and options they have available. I'm sure you'll find one that's just perfect for you. All right, we're back now from break. Uh, I want to thank our sponsors, Greasy Girl Headbands. Yes, I wear. I actually wore it yesterday. You did. You wore it out yesterday. Yeah. I went. I went. To do my chores, and and then I went over to uh, the massage place. Right, and race and, by her. yeah, good. Yeah, and the the lady loved my Your you know headband. my massage therapist ah, loved my headband. So mm-hmm. and also raceadvisors dot com, which uh, I'm supposed to review the the Phoenix Marathon, but geez, if I don't run it, can I review it? I mean, we're definitely going out there. It's not like we got plane I can tickets. We got. It. I'm supposed to run. Half. You're gonna run. You're gonna run the half. So yeah, all right. So I want to do a little exercise with you right now. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's so here's here's my thing is we kind of like go through everyday life. We wake up, we go to work whether we want to or not. Um and I think everyone kind of had to a degree, you know, to a degree every you have good days and bad days when it comes to careers and and things you have to do during the day. And you know, I kind of started thinking and maybe like I'm approaching this sort of midlife crisis. I I feel like I have a midnight a midlife crisis every year. But uh, you know, if you didn't have that responsibility, if you didn't have to work every day, if your day wasn't planned out like by responsibility alone, what would your perfect day be? Wow. How would you go about if you had if if you had all the money in the world and and you lived in a house that you were comfortable with and you had you, you know everything you wanted in terms of needs. What what would you do? How would you arrange your day? That's would you Would you get up early? Would you sleep late? 
I would sleep late. <laughs> <laughs> We're being candid here. Right? I'd All sleep right. Late. So you'd sleep late. There would be no alarm clock. No. Right. You wouldn't need one. No. No. So I'd get up. Mm-hmm. I mean, if we had enough money, we'd probably live by the beach. I would love that. Right. Right. So we would take a walk on the beach, maybe even run if I'm motivated. Ah, uh, see that? Right. Right. That's, yeah, absolutely. I like run. that. Run. Uh, come back. Hopefully we have a garden in the back like we do every summer here. You right. Know, and pick the garden and make yummy fresh food that's not full of, you know, GMOs and all that <laughs> stuff. Um, She's very environmental. Yeah, I try. Um, <laughs> do something fun. Do something, I don't know, like um, my father is a scuba diver. I think I'd do that. You'd scuba dive? Yeah. And my brother like plants coral. I think I'd do that with him. Yeah, like to kind of... Yeah, like help so, the environment somehow. So you know what's kind of interesting to me, yeah, just in listening to you, and I've I've, I've actually I've kind of gone through this exercise in my own head, and I come up with some similar things on occasion. I think my perfect day involves watching the Jets win the Super Bowl, which would never really happen. Um, <laughs> don't nod. <laughs> <laughs> and I know nothing. No, no about one can football. hear when you nod. <laughs> We're on radio here. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, like. I, I think I would, I think I would actually wake up early. I think not super early, like five o'clock, like I do today, but you know, I think I'd set the alarm for like seven and, and be happy with that. Um, but yeah, I, I love the idea of either going out for a walk or a run in the morning and just, you know, and, and getting a good start to your day that way. And it makes me feel like, all right, if that's something that I, I want to incorporate into my per, what would be my perfect day, right? So my perfect day incorporates a walk and a run. Why don't I do that on a normal day? When I have two or three hours and it, it drives me nuts that, you know, here, you know, instead I'd, I'd rather, you know, and we all do it, right? We have, you have your cell phones and you have your little game apps Uh-oh. that you play, right? Oh, oh. You yeah. see how I segued into this? Uh-huh. I, I like this. I'm going to talk about this. Um, so I play, right now I have two games on, on my, uh, on my, on my phone that I play religiously. And one is Forge of Empires and the other is just recently is Wor- Words with Friends. Um, which I think in a way some of it has a little value because I do I do play games with people that I have really good relationships with and I like to talk to so it's like it's pleasant pleasant way to sort of keep in touch but uh it's also it takes way too long because I'm very competitive and I sit there and I I look at all the combinations I I play like play words that I've never heard of before we've all played the QI word right I don't even know what that word means <laughs> and um you know it's like it's like one of those things where you know, you kind of think it's like it's harmless, right? Because you're just sitting there in front of your in front of your phone, and you're sitting there doing probably what you would be doing anyway. Either you're watching TV or just kind of vegging out, and you know. But after some time, you look down, and you've been doing it for a half an hour. You've been doing it for an hour, or you've been doing it while we're watching the entire first Harry Potter the other night. Oh my gosh! I watched. I literally played Word with Friends, Words with Friends, whatever the <laughs> yeah. name is. Word. Uh, for the entire Harry Potter movie. And now, granted, that was the first day I downloaded the app. Because I've had a love-hate relationship with games since I was in college. Right. So, you know, riding the subway, I used to play Sudoku and whatnot. And then one day I decided to just take every single game out of my phone. Just because I'd rather be yeah. studying I, on the I train or uh, yeah. reading a, a book on the train as opposed to just sitting there with that crap so i've never for for years i never had a game on my phone until the other day and then guess what i found that i was paying attention to the movie and samantha was like samantha was upset at you yeah yeah she's saying tomorrow when we watch the second harry potter no phones allowed yeah we're doing like a harry potter marathon we're trying to watch a new episode every night and um new movie Huh? Okay. A new movie. And, right, right, just yeah. a new movie. So we've watched, we, we don't have her tonight for the next couple of days, but we watched uh, two movies. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and the and first she, one I had She really enjoyed them, I think. And, and she watched the first one like a couple of years ago and she got really scared uh, at a few points. There was a couple couple moments that she that frightened her and she got scared of them and she didn't want to watch it again. But now she seems to be okay. Yeah. So my whole point is that um, I had words with friends on my phone for a couple of days and... Right now, oh, to she's hold gonna, myself she's accountable. Gonna do it. She's been saying she's going to do this live on on the podcast. I oh. am going to take it off of my phone, and it's not going to be redownloaded. And I feel really terrible because I have ongoing games right. with some really good, good friends people. of mine. And, you know, they're probably saying she she's a sore loser. <laughs> 
it's a few people that are beating me and they're probably going to think that I just didn't want to lose and that's why I stopped playing with them. But I'm going to take it out. I don't know how to do this. How do I take it out? <laughs> just hold on to it. Yeah, no, no, it no, keeps no, it's not up. working. Oh, watch your mouth. <laughs> well, I didn't say anything bad. But you said it keeps, what'd you say? It keeps. It keeps. I don't know what I said. Uh, I, I didn't say said, anything bad. I thought you said drop I the F-bomb there. No, the I didn't. I think you did. I gonna, didn't. Really oh, good. maybe I did. Oh, you're, you, I noticed that you're playing the game against me, that I'm destroying you. Uh, there it goes. I've only played for two <laughs> days. Excuse me. You learn all the bogus words already. Because yeah. how long have you been playing? Seven days. Okay. Well, I can't, <laughs> can't take this out. I know. Now so. it's not. It's funny. This is how our year is going. Now she's trying to delete oh it. And she can't, she can't <laughs> even delete it. <laughs> oh, there, there it is. you go. There it is. There you go. <laughs> Delete. Delete. Oh, it's oh, gone. Oh, it's going to be such a productive mm. year. There you go. Without words with and friends. And so, now I got to tell you, I can delete words with friends with no problem. It won't bother me too much. But the other game that I've been playing, I've been playing it for over a year, like pretty much every day. And it usually doesn't take too long, but I can make it take long if I'm bored. Like if I drop Sam off at her, uh, at her chorus lessons and I'm just sitting there waiting for a half an hour, I can play the game for a half an hour. Uh, just messing around and throwing, you know, so... That's going to be an investment for me, but I'm going to do it. I'm you want to do it on it. the podcast? I'm not going to do it on the podcast. It takes too long. Um, but I will do it right after. And I, I'm, I'm going to say this, too. Is like I also, I recently have, uh, I don't even want to say this, but I, I should. Um, I, I'm not, I shouldn't commit to this. I'm going to throw a loose, soft circle around this. <laughs> You're already looking at me like, what? <laughs> Let's hear it. Well, I've been playing the, so I so we got Sam an Xbox One uh, for Christmas. And the other day, so she's been playing basketball, like real life basketball, like, you know, actually getting up and running around and, and sweating. And um, so I bought NBA 2K18, which was totally a purchase for dad, um, guised as a purchase for Sam. And, you know, I've been playing it. And I got to tell you, the game is awful. It is absolutely terrible. But you build like you build your own player and you kind of go through this my career mode that, you know, the player gets better and better. And I think that's what I'm sort of addicted to is I'm addicted to this notion that you, you know, you discover something or create something and then you can go through this sort of game process. Same thing with Forge of Empires, really, if I think about it that way, that makes your entire thing better and better. And so you make your character better and better the more you play. And it's like an addictive sort of thing for me. And... You know, so the other night you were out and I, I, I played it for a while. And this morning I played a couple games and they, it frustrates me too. Cause I'm like wide open. I'm like, I'm a three point shooter specialist and I'm wide open and I, and I, I, I don't hit them. I miss them on fast breaks. I'm all by myself and, and it just drives me insane. Like I want to throw the controller through the screen. Um, but my cat over time, my character is getting better and better. And I'm like, Oh, I want to see what happens. Am I going to actually start hitting most of these shots? Uh, as I get better and am I going to become invincible? Am I going to, you know, and it's just like, a, it's like, it's, it drives me to play, which is less healthy than say wanting to finish an Iron Man, <laughs> right? I mean, that's a little bit different. You want to finish an Iron Man that badly and then you actually have to work out. So maybe for me, the key is to find a goal. And we talked about this a little bit, I think in the uh, New Year's Eve podcast, because I don't have a goal. Um, and I think about what could be next. And I think maybe like, um, you know, maybe, maybe trying to, you know, beat, do like a four and a half hour marathon would be a good goal. Yeah, it might be. But for some reason, when I think about that, it doesn't drive me to work out. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't motivate me enough to, you know, inspire me enough, I guess, to, to get up and move and to diet. And so I don't really have a next goal in mind. I mean, a hundred mile race would keep me out of the house forever training. Um, and I don't know that I necessarily like have the desire to do that either. So I'm kind of like in the zone. And then again, I I don't know if that's a bad thing necessarily because life goes on. Why do I need to have a goal all the time? I mean, I mean, clearly you've known me when I've had and been in goal mode and you've mm-hmm. known me when I'm not. I, I don't know. Not really. Well, now you do. You've always. Well, this is, I don't know what this is. You have a goal though. You have some races. I have races. Iron Man. Yeah. I have, you know, this, this marathon was supposed to be good. And now, now things are going, you know, it's just for some reason it's no, it's not the same. And what Ramon said was that I lost the fear, hmm, right? Which is, is a thing. Um, it's an interesting point, actually, if you think about it. Well, yeah, because you, you know how it was for me at the end of, you know, in the middle of last year when it was, you know, a, a month or two before the Ironman. It was, it wasn't that I, it wasn't that I necessarily wanted to, I had to, 
because I was like, man, I can't like, I can't do this podcast and not, not finish an Iron Man. Like I got to be, now that I said it, I felt like I owed, you know, way more. It was bigger than me, I guess, you know? And so, I mean, it was me because I, I don't think I would have needed this podcast to necessarily do it, but, um, you know, it just, I don't know. It was more, it was just more than just doing it on my own right now. Like, I feel like, all right, I did it. Maybe, I, maybe not, I'm just not scared of it. So I don't, it doesn't drive me to do it. Whereas before it was like, oh my God, this is coming. And well, I have to say that we, we are invested in this Iron Man. I mean, we have friends going, Samantha's yeah. coming with Hotel, us. Hotel, Sam. Um, you know, I think. And, and you know, like, I, I think for a while there, I had, you know, I had issues with diet, right? And I was gaining weight even though I was working out. And like I said, I was eating, I wasn't eating great stuff. I, I know I was like, you know, anytime someone came in for lunch at work and there was leftover food, I'd always grab a second sandwich from lunch and eat the M&Ms. And sometimes it's like two packs a day, you know, it's like, it's not good. It's stuff that's not good. And I will say this too. So we started this diet on Monday and we've been pretty good with it, but not yeah. totally strict. You've been very good with it. I had Chinese food Yeah, you food did. You out, went but- right. But we've been, you know, all right. So I've been fairly good with it. Um, but like I said, I, you know, so I, I'll say this, like what I did was there were a couple, you're supposed to take like a, a protein shake after you work out, but I haven't been working out. So I haven't been doing the protein shake. However, what I have been doing is taking kind bars. We got a case of kind bars for Sam. She doesn't really like them. So they sit in there. So I've been eating them multiple ones a day. I mean, two, three a day. And now maybe that replaces the shakes that I don't drink, even though I'm not exercising, but I've lost eight pounds in a week which is pretty incredible. Um, and, and without exercising, and this is what drives me insane is that, you know, I, yeah, I had some M&Ms and yeah, I had a couple extra sandwiches here and there, but I gained close to 30 pounds over, you know, a five month period, something like that. So 30 pounds is a lot of weight. And it just makes me feel like, you know, I, if, if we were to remove any kind of like exercise reg- regimen for me or, or disciplinary regimen in terms of food and diet, my weight will always gravitate north. If left to my own device, like like we went food shopping today, and the first you walk in the door, and there's the bakery aisle, mm-hmm. and there is so much food, and it looks so good. All the cakes, and cupcakes, and cookies, and brownies, and donuts, and muffins, and there's so much of it there. And I'm like, and I struggle, and here I am, like a, a relatively active person. And for, and for the last three years, I, I like rarely do I ever get anything unless I, unless we have company, I am not buying anything from the bakery aisle. And it's like, and then I wonder who does this? Who can get away with buying things? There's so much, someone's got to buy it. Otherwise it wouldn't be there. Who gets away with buying this stuff? Even if they exercise and you know what? Geez, I was training for Ironman and I was training for marathons and I'm doing that and I'm gaining weight and not even eating this stuff. And who's buying this stuff? And, uh, you know, it drives me insane because, you know, to rewind that, like on my perfect day, maybe I would like a brownie with some ice cream on top. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't talk about food. Oh, well, well that's I did pretty good, a little bit actually. about healthy food from the garden. But I'm just is- saying, you know, and that's another thing, too, is like the garden. I mean, we had a garden over the summer. Um, and again, you you know, this is what you say, uh, you know, if you uh, with nothing around on your perfect day, you would love to have a garden to go out and kind of grow your own food and, and just experience that. And it's kind of, kind of neat. Like I, you know, that's one of the reasons why I do the garden to begin with, but yet you have the time to do it. And how many times did you step in the garden last summer? None. Actually once. It's probably to get something. Yeah. And then I saw that spider living. There. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to go back. So, um, you know, I think the question is, you know, if you have that sort of like perfect day and, and really, I mean, that's what I kind of been looking at it as now is like, I can set my, my, these, these, what is what's incremental goals i guess right so i can do a half marathon to a marathon to an iron man uh, and i can even set further ones that are just going to take more time and do all that but what I, I think what i really need is a lifestyle yeah but we try and we're trying to create that lifestyle and we failed miserably <laughs> <laughs> well we failed for one month out of like the last few years miserably. so it, I, miserably yeah it's been a bad month but and I have to say, like today, I was in a ridiculously bad mood today. You were, like, you were. I did not. I don't want to do anything. I don't know what that's about. Maybe it's all the sugar I've had, and my body's not used to the sugar. And, you know, we talk about. I mean, we've talked about like depression in general, and you know, I've known some depressed people before, and I feel like it, this isn't it. No, it's not a depression. It's 
lack of motivation. I don't know what it is. I mean, I feel like I, I want to do the right thing, right? Like I, yeah. I text Aura and tell her, hey, let's go running, even though I don't want to. Right? It's it's kind of like a weird, it's a weirdness. It's a weird, I don't know. I don't even know and how to explain I do, it. And then I was talking to Aura about the lack of vitamins. I mean, after this kidney stone thing, I have to do all these tests and... And I have to, you know, collect my urine for like a a, a month, not a month, a, a day. Um, <laughs> yeah. And they tell me not to take vitamins. Pool for that. Yeah. <laughs> they tell me not, they tell me not to take vitamins for five days before doing it. So you here I am without the yeah. vitamins, and I feel like total crap. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's the winter so, blues. So Who I guess knows, you know we but... can't we can't end a podcast here on this kind of note. We have to sort of. We have to, I think we need to kind of develop a plan of action. Yes. And we need to sort of, we, we need to figure out how, now, now we've talked to, I mean, we've sit here and whined and complained for 30 minutes. I know, what a downer. Who's going to want to listen to this crap? I don't know, maybe people that are going through the same thing. So I think what we need to do, this is what we need to do, and this is what we're going to do. Okay. Is that uh, we're going to, we're going to, after this podcast, you and I are going to sit down at the kitchen table and we're going to make a list of priorities. Okay. Like, you know, we, we've also, we've let a lot of things go with this podcast, If you, in case you haven't noticed. Like, you know, I think that we did, we did two episodes in December, two episodes in January. Uh, I actually did record an episode, a third episode in January, but I did it on a controversial topic, which was... Uh, <laughs> I told him not to put it out. She basically told me not to put it but you didn't listen to it yet. I, I still have it. It's actually all ready to go. I could easily just upload it, and I'm still contemplating doing it. Um, I'm just, I, I don't know. I'm a little Here's nervous about thing. how people I, I don't want. It. I don't want to lose our members because, you know. <laughs> so that's, and that's the thing is, like, I, I think if people are listening to this, they, you know, I, I think I, so I did it on the sort of this topic that we had a disagreement on, on the uh on the message board a few weeks ago about whether or not, you know, running a full marathon means uh, just completing it or actually running throughout the whole thing. And it's kind of a, a sketchy topic. Um, it's very sensitive. Like for some reason, it's just, you know, and I, and I feel like in a way, I feel like it's something that we should talk about because I feel like we shouldn't shy away from things like this. And, you know, it's part of what makes up, makes us up and, 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 you know, it's, it's a good discussion topic. And in another way, I feel like for some reason people get pissed off. I know. I know. When they talk about stuff like and this. And we can't understand their motives behind being angry about it. So let's just cut it there. Let's just, <laughs> this is why she won't let me put it, post it up there. <laughs> to each its own, I guess, you know? And, and I, you know, I, and that's the thing is we don't, we don't like offending people. And obviously not, especially people that have been involved with the podcast. And I say we, but really me, um, you know, people that I've known for a long time. And I feel like, you know what, if I, if I know you long enough, like, we should be able to have this discussion. Uh, and it's not, it's nothing that I defend like, uh, vigorously or, or want to argue over. It's just, uh, I know. All right. She's giving me the shut up sign. All right. <laughs> anyway, so let's discuss, let's go back to this. Let's go back to this. So what are we going to do? We're going to, let's do this. We're going to sit down after this podcast and we're going to write a list of priorities. Okay. Things we, like we need to fix. We need to send out, we've been, we said we're going to send out a newsletter at the end of the year. We never did that. We've got a whole bunch of people waiting for our first newsletter. Uh, yeah. And it's half. Halfway done, I would say. Yeah, it's halfway right. It should be all the way done and sent. Yeah. So we got to do that a newsletter. We got to fix our our interviewing um, sound stuff. We're gonna do that. All this stuff is gonna get done this week. Okay. All right. So we're gonna fix that. We're gonna we're gonna um. What was the first thing I said? Uh, we're gonna do the newsletter. Uh, we have to organize our. We're doing this race now. So we have the ordinary marathon that we're setting up with Melissa Khan. We have to uh, set that up. We're working on that now. Now. I think in the past I said we work it. We were working feverishly on it. Well, let's just say take out the word feverishly. <laughs> take out the word we're, working. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, we've been working. You know, well, we have other people working on it. We're just just not us. But um, no, we've actually we've we've got the shirts. I think we have the shirt design down. We've ordered the medals. Um, we've set up the web page. We haven't really. We're, we're we're trying to nail down some sponsors. So if you're looking to sponsor the race, please get in touch with us. Um, you know, we've got a lot of sponsorship opportunities still open, and uh, you know, we're trying to secure prizes because we like to give out prizes. So, um, you know, if you can't do a sponsorship, but you you know you you're a company that produces. You know, we did we did a lot of things last time. Um, you know, we did momentum jewelry, we did race dots, we did 
uh, plow on gum, all that stuff. If we can get, you know, we're just looking for, you know, a couple handouts for some winners, stuff like that. We're just, um, you know, we, we have to organize this and, and, and we've been a little bit lax on it, but it doesn't, the good news is it doesn't start till April. We're going to open the race hopefully in a couple, couple weeks. And, you know, so that's another thing. So put that on the list. So, okay. well, we the have, most, the most immediate issue is Phoenix, right? Well, we're having a lot of ordinary marathoners True. meeting us at Phoenix. So we should really get that going. Yeah. I mean, I know that Melissa has been, been in touch with a lot of people. A lot of people have, um, have their travel plans already set and, you know, we're supposed to meet out there. I, I got to tell you, it's not, and, and some of it's just, I think winter, just the fact that it's winter, Maybe. but I feel like, you know, I, there's, it's more than me and I, and I don't want to drop names cause I don't want to. I don't want to say that, you know, um, people aren't training if they don't want that known, but I know of at least two other people that are, that are say involved and, and sort of not, not as motivated. I think there's something to this chemtrail conspiracy. Oh, here we go. <laughs> talk about <laughs> the government's dropping. Censor, talk about sensitive topics. Huh? Chemtrails. That's what chemtrails. Yeah. We're being bombarded with gas from planes. Yeah. And it's making us, uh, how about all the sugar in our diet? That's more, yeah. Yeah. I would blame food before I blame chemtrails. I'd go with chemtrails one, food two, no, food motivation one. three. Oh, no, motivation one. Definitely motivation Chem- number one. Chemtrails one. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> motivation one, food two, and then chemtrails. All right. So, th- listen, this is what we're g- This is my plan. My plan is this. We're going to sit down after, again, sit down after podcast. We're going to prioritize some things that we need to fix. Um, and then what we're going to do is we are going to, uh, we're going to make a calendar. We're going to make a schedule. And we're going to write down all this stuff. And so these moments where uh, I'm playing NBA 2K8, 18, sorry, and you're playing Words with Friends. I'm not. That, it's off of it's my off. phone. Right. Well, now we're going no to need to, we're going to need, we're going to need to replace it with, uh, with productive things. Okay. And I think, you know, and then once we're done with making the schedule, I think another thing that we need to do is we need to arrange our home in a way that makes our schedule easier to accomplish. And I'll tell you what I mean by that mm-hmm. is well, sometimes I get home and I'm downstairs and I'm like, ah, I really should work on say the newsletter mm-hmm. or other things that I'm working on for the, for the, this project. And I look around and I'm like, ah, my laptop's upstairs. Uh, so I don't get it. And I just sit downstairs just because I don't want to walk upstairs and then get my laptop and go downstairs. So instead, I just delay, delay, delay. I never wind up doing it. And I go. I, so I think those are the kinds of things. And right now, my laptop, the funny thing is my laptop's downstairs. But um, like we have to kind of make it easier on ourselves. Maybe we need a separate space for, you know, for, for like work things. Because uh, either that or we have to, de- to dedicate time to sit down together and work on stuff yeah it's very hard though because i'm also supposed to be studying right but that's um, something that you could be working on though yeah and i mean i've arranged my my work schedule to leave at three now and, and now I you're not s- leaving at three you just well work. that's because i've been busy busy and yeah. you know i'm behind but we can figure it out so i think those those are my three steps is uh prioritize Get rid of distractions. Well, that that's yeah, we've already done. So prior, but that's prioritize. Prioritize is get right. So you prior you deprioritize the distractions. That's so I'm going to lump those together. Okay. So prioritize. Uh, make a schedule. What's the other one? Rearrange the home. And re and right and then make it easy. Mm-hmm. Make it as e- make it efficient. Make okay. it efficient. So all right, and those. What do you think? Do you think we can do that? Yes. Uh, is there a way to hold ourselves accountable, though? Uh, yeah, we're going to come back and do this podcast again in a month. Okay. And what? if you're playing NBA, can I put it on Ordinary Marathon Group <laughs> and make everyone kick your I butt? I remember I said it was, a, it was like a soft circle around that one. Uh-huh. I have to kind of like, I have to wean myself off that, I think. I don't think so. No, it's got to be a hard. Oh. Cold turkey. I mean, look, I did cold turkey word with friends. I know, you just did. I, what if I catch you on that? You won't because I, I won't get back on it. I've yeah, but it there's before. the App Store. Doesn't you just matter. go right back to App Store. Trust you... me, I've done this before. I cut cold turkey and I do it. I don't re-download. So we'll that's what you have to do. We'll see. We'll see. You, you know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this is like our first fight. 
No. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> All no. right. Um, so on that note, I think we're going to, well, let's cut, let's cut, cut it there. Um, we'll, you know, hopefully we'll prioritize things properly and then, uh, and be in order. And then, then we can kind of return to normal for the show, get some more guests on. Uh, I actually, I did. Ooh, another note about accountability. I think our, uh-huh. our listeners will know if they don't get a newsletter very soon, they'll know that That's we true. haven't been That's doing another anything. One. Yep. If they don't get. So let's say this, let's say newsletter comes out by Feb, for, Feb, by Valentine's Day. Okay, Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. Newsletter out by Valentine's Day. Um, another podcast in a month after we come back from Arizona. Wait, 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 no. You have to do another podcast with guests. No, 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 yeah, 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 all yeah. that stuff. Okay, good. All that stuff by then. But we, and I'm saying another one with you. Oh, okay, yes. Right? To make sure that we've, we've fulfilled our uh, our duty here. I, gotta t- I feel a little bit better. Me too. Maybe yeah. talking about it. You were like more. miserable this morning. I was, I you're, was. You're kind of, you look good. Thanks. You're welcome. Well, you know what? The trip to the store also helped me. All that food, even though I'm not allowed to eat it. We didn't buy any of it either. But it was great looking at it. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, love- about, I'm about to rip into a pint of Halo Top no, pistachio tonight. No, you're not. No, tonight. no, 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 no. No, during the Super Bowl I am. Okay, okay. Also opening wine. This is the first alcohol I've had in over a week. I'm very happy about that too. Yeah. I think no, we're, we're going to be good. I think we're going to be good. We're going to turn it around. We have family coming up. Um, we do. We have, we're going to meet ordinary marathoners we've never met face to face before. I'm actually very excited about me that. Me too. Me too. Very excited. So I think that's, that's enough motivation for me, I think. All right. So hopefully we're, uh, hopefully we're kind of through the worst of it here. I hope so. 11 months of greatness. That's yes. right. We, we can still make 2018 a pretty good year. Yes, we can. Right. On that note. <laughs> We'll see you guys next week. Well, actually, you know what? That's another thing. We're going to do another podcast this this week. I'm going to do one this week. Yeah. So this one will be out tonight, if not tomorrow, because we do have Super Bowl tonight. No, no, I'll be out tonight. All right. So this one will be out tonight, and then um, and then tomorrow, uh, and then sometime this week, I'll do another one. Okay. How about that? Perfect. We're on a roll. Awesome. On a roll. And uh, with that, always remember: when it comes to running, I'm no expert. I'm not, actually, I'm not even running. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no expert. I'm just ordinary. <laughs> <laughs>